Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a look at this really cool LEGO set, which was part of the BrickLink Designer Program. It's known as the Retro Bowling Alley. I like this set because it's a modular building, and it was a fantastic build. There's some really clever part usage in here, and it just looks all around great. However, with that said, I think there's some flaws in the interior. More on that later. So I'll start with the exterior of the build. This thing here sits on two base plates. So it's 64 studs wide and one base plate deep. As you can see, it is one floor only. And it has this really cool sign right up here that says, Bull, Dave's Cafe. The set comes with five minifigures. We have a chef, a female employee, this lady here, a male employee, and then this little boy right here. The minifigures are pretty basic, but it's sort of what you would expect to get with a bowling alley set. The sign was quite enjoyable to build. You can see it has the sticker elements right there that spell out Dave's Cafe. And then we've got some interesting font, bowl. And of course that font there matches the color scheme of the bowling alley. So it's pretty consistent and looks pretty good. The sign is quite tall. There is a Technic axle that runs through the center of the entire sign just to give it some more stability. And it can just be removed pretty easily, just sort of pull it off there. And as you can see, it's a pretty interesting build. The exterior build is absolutely phenomenal. I really liked it. These red elements coming down from the roof, just the way they curve outward is absolutely fantastic. And then we have these black fence elements that are snot mounted above these planters. And then the way that we have some more intricate design using these jumpers right here in sort of a diamond form, just looks really good. We have a nice covering over top of the front door there, and on either side of the door, there are two large bowling pins. On all four corners of the build, we have these interesting panels right here that use a wedge plate, a one by three tile, and then this large chunk on the bottom here, which uses headlight bricks and those modified one by two bricks. So you'll note the color combinations. There's turquoise, tan, dark tan, and dark red. You can see a turquoise window covering just above that window there. And the base layer of brick is actually done with dark red brick, including masonry bricks. On the side of the building, we have some leaves that are mounted to the wall there with some flowers and a couple gauges. And something that I really like is actually the use of the one by one plates. You stack three of them. They're a combination of light tan and dark tan. You put them beside those masonry bricks there just to sort of extend that brick. It's actually a fairly simple technique but it adds some nice detail. Around back here, we've got an interesting ladder built using some candlesticks. There's some paint rollers on the top of it and some one by two modified plates with the slide, another gauge there, and then the matching red elements coming down from the roof on the backside along with those diamonds created using those jumpers. This side's essentially the same. However, there is this element right here that's built within the wall. The roof that was built in two sections has some really nice detail that I really enjoyed to build. Uh, just using some bracket elements, bricks, uh, curved slopes, tiles, jumpers, stuff like that. And then these really shiny sort of chrome elements right there to represent the pipes that connect all the different heating units and fans. Just looks really, really good. And there's a couple different styles of builds. Also on top of the roof, we have some crates right here that are full of bowling balls, I guess. The roof is then capped with these light gray tiles, and it's also framed using these jumpers right here in dark gray, topped with the light gray tile. And that's consistent all the way around. Although I love the roof, I think this is where we have our first flaw of this set. For example, this panel here, it's not really held down perfectly, and that's because it's only held in spot by two of the one by four jumper tiles. So it's not really tacked down in enough spots, although that's really easy to fix. Just replace some tiles with some more of those. The smaller section of the roof, which we just removed is rock solid. But with the larger section of roof panel right here, I think there's a little bit of a problem. Once again, it's only tacked down by two of the one by four jumper tiles. Honestly, me bringing this up is sort of nitpicky. The roof is really well done. You'll see that the plate on the bottom doesn't go right to the edge. So then there's some sections of the roof that aren't held together the best. So you can see it sort of wiggles there. You see that? So then when you're trying to tack this thing down, it doesn't secure as cleanly as it should in some spots. See, there's another spot right there that's sort of wiggling. If these plates were brought to the exterior, then there wouldn't be a problem. Or if there was some sort of brick on top that overlapped that seam, or if we use different size of plates, we could fix that. 
But I mean, it's such a nitpick. It's, it's really nothing serious. The roof is awesome and I love the rooftop units. Once again, everybody, I absolutely love this set. Look how clean the interior is. It's fantastic. There's just so much tile work that's done. It looks so clean. However, this is where the flaws are. There's too many loose pieces in this set, specifically the pins. You build 24 pins and they're supposed to stand at the end of the lane with nothing holding them down. There's no jumpers, there's no plates, there's no studs, nothing to hold those down. That, in my opinion, is a flaw because when you pick this thing up, your pins are just gonna be absolutely everywhere. And that's why I've kept my pins in one of the bags. This thing's super cool though. So when you put your pins down and then you roll your ball and you knock them all over, you can remove this right here so you can get in there and stand your pins back up. That's pretty neat. Other loose parts that drive me crazy are the balls. I know the bowling ball should be loose, but I just think there should be like some jumpers in the lanes or something like that so you can pin some of the balls down and put them in like an action pose. And then the balls on the stand over here are all loose as well. So the ball returns and these stands right here, the balls can just roll off and go wherever they want. And you'll also see some one by one plates with the tile top loose there as well. Those red ones, those are supposed to sit on these cubbies, but once again, there's nothing holding them down. Okay, one more little bit of a nitpick here about this set. You see the gutters, they're at the same level as the lanes, which isn't authentic. So the way that you can fix that is you can take a bunch of plate and put it underneath those tan tiles. Very easily actually. So you just grab a brick separator, remove all of this tile here, except for the jumpers that are holding these gray pieces in spot, and then just put plate all underneath it and raise up the bowling lanes by one plate. And then you'll actually have gutters that are lower than the lanes. Okay, enough with the negativity. I love this set, the tiled interior, incredible. So many tiles, the lights running along the back wall there, Absolutely fantastic. This couch, very neat. And look at those ball returns too. Then we have this curved counter right here with the cubbies behind for the shoes, obviously. There's a computer there and another one of our red tiles. Oh no, I'm done with negativity, sorry. <laughs> and then over here we have a kitchen. The kitchen is pretty clean. We've got the oven range there, the oven, a nice fridge some containers on top of that fridge, the coffee, some knives mounted to the wall there, a bag of trash by the back door, some really nice uh, triangular tile work there. I love the triangular tiles. Then we've got some hot dogs going out there, a sink, a broom mounted to the wall, a nice covering going over top of the chairs right there on the incredible floor. I love these little arcade games right here. On the left side, we have the green driving game. Then we have just like a joystick game there, whether it be like a fighter or something like that. And then a shooting game in red on the right. Nice little arcade games. And in fact, I want to do more with the arcade in this set. I actually want to add an arcade, but where am I going to add it? Ultimately, what I'd like to do is re-render this set. So I would export it onto Studio, which I've actually never done before. So it'd be my first time ever using Studio for something like this. That's where you can sort of design your own Lego sets and you can export sets into Studio. Then I would remove everything, the arcade games, the bowling lanes, the interior tiling, the couch, the vending machine, which I didn't point out right here in the corner. So I'd remove all of the stuff, the kitchen, everything like that. And then I would export that parts list and I would create a second floor for this where we would put an arcade because right now it's only one floor so it doesn't really you know match up with some of the other modular buildings in the city and it takes up two base plates so I wouldn't mind condensing it and putting an arcade on top when that makes sense and what I think I would do is just remove these arcade games here and put a staircase going up to the second floor I could use the same roof all I have to do is figure out what pieces went in to creating the exterior walls and then I can continue the same design onto the second floor. Really cool set. It has some minor flaws that we have to fix in my opinion and I'll be doing that when I add the second floor but I will be placing this in the Lego City as soon as possible so I'm really excited about that 
And there we have the new bowling alley. When did that fall off? The Bricklink Designer Program Bowling Alley. Uh, wow. Really cool set. Thoroughly enjoy it. I want to go do some bowling now. Let me know what you think of it by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. Farewell, everybody.